Brothers and sisters, friends and comrades. It's late. I'm Cuba Libre. And this is Let's Play Deus Ex 3 Hardcore. Now, I don't know if you remember, but we're on our way to solving some murder of Farida's friend. But, uh, what's different now is that I've resolved to kill every single bell tower agent every single one each one because they're bastards so right now we're meeting uh, her contact this fucking 4chan guy <coughs> and we'll see what uh, he has to say for himself look at this douche can't you see I'm busy? Go bother someone else. Something, something, death and taxes, Confucius. What? Wait, that... That's not it at all. That's not even close. Does it matter? Of course it matters. <laughs> Otherwise, how am I supposed to know your... You were supposed to say, death and life have the determined appointments. Then I say, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Okay. Death and life have their determined appointments. <laughs> Riches and oh, oh, never mind. You ruined the whole thing. Just I'm glad this is supposed to be funny. The clinic. It's safer for us to talk out there. I'm still not sure Turn if it actually is funny. Go <laughs> I'll be waiting at the corner. It's probably not. It's late. If I'm quiet, it's because it's late. My wife's in bed, so sorry. <laughs> but I'm not that sorry. I'm not really actually sorry at all. I'm sorry in a theoretical sense. Come on now. Yeah, dude, I see that you. That was hardly what I would call a smooth interaction. I could get into serious trouble for this, you know. Sorry, I'm new to this spy game stuff. Right. Well, <laughs> well, not exactly what I was expecting. I was told I would be meeting a girl. How do I know you're not an imposter or some sort of double agent? Don't think I don't know this could all just be an elaborate trap to set I think he's up. just pissed Look, that he's no not meeting a girl. Mr. X, or whatever your name is. But I really don't have time for this. So if you could simply just give me what I came for, I'll be on my way. Yes, yes. I have it right here. Evelyn Carmichael's autopsy report. Here, <coughs> take it. Thank you. I trust you will put this information to good use? Because accountability and justice is at an all-time low, I'm afraid. It pains me to see this once great city, which stood as a bastion for reform and progress against our oppressive communist origins, succumb to the trappings of corporate bureaucracy uh -huh. and petty corruption. Corruption so often typical of your Western governments. Oh. Whatever you say. Now, if you don't mind, I really must Why don't be you just put on a guy well, fox mask? There is still the matter of my payment. One thousand credits was the agreed-upon price, I believe. Isn't that right? <laughs> no one told me about no thousand credits. Aaron Denson doesn't give a fuck. Advice. When attempting to restore money from someone, don't give them what they want before trying to rip them off. What? What? You you mean you aren't going to pay? But I risked everything to get you that file. Chalk it up to a learning experience and move on. <laughs> you s you scoundrel! You'll regret this someday. You just you just mock my words. See you later. X. Man, I hope he does do something, because that would be awesome. So where the fuck do I go now? Wrong button. Uh. Oh, I have to actually read the report. Ha ha ha. Lame. I have to actually kind of pay attention to this. All right, no alcohol. Pregnant. Malik. Hmm. Hmm. No drugs or alcohol in Evelyn's system. 
Oh, I guess I don't have to actually read it because he'll just tell me. die from a head wound, but not one that matches the evidence found at the scene. I knew it. It couldn't have been just an accident. There's more. Evelyn was pregnant. Malik. I'm here. I. We can't let him get away with this, Jensen. He's guilty. He has to be. Can you go to his apartment? And do what? Get proof. Get something. I'm sending you the coordinates. Contact me again when you're there. Pretty sure it's in the usual. God damn it. Yeah. I don't know why it's sending me over there. I guess because it's the entrance that's closest to the place I want to go on the other side. But. Hey, lady. There's just like a lady sitting here. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Also, it does the Deus Ex thing where uh, as soon as you walk down there, a train pulls up. How convenient. Oh. It's the smallest subway in the world. <laughs> you know, I said I was going to kill the bell tower agents, but, uh, like, they may as well... I think they're already dead. <laughs> Let's see here. I think he's in one of those... Actually, I think he's in that apartment that's, like, was right next to that dude that I had to throw off the roof. Now that I think about it, which is up here. Whoop! Oh man, the jumping og is great. <laughs> uh, nope. I guess I was wrong. Can't believe I didn't notice this before. Ah, <coughs> let's see. Where am I going this way? Damn. Access grid. Swish. Well, here I am in his apartment. Malik, I'm inside Lee's apartment. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Damn. Now we get to play Ellen Noir. Hey, look, Lee isn't smart Click on everything. To that glows. Track, so look around. Maybe you can find something suspicious. Do -do -do. This is glowing. The hive? I should have guessed Lee would be there. It's pretty much a second home for him. Wait a minute, you heard that? Sorry, Jensen. I don't like invading your privacy like this, but it's important. Plus, this gives me an idea. When you're done looking around Lee's apartment, head to the Hive. Contact me when you're there. I'll keep mm. looking. I'm sure there's more here. I'm sure there's more here. Malik, I think I got a probable murder weapon. A broken clock. The kicker is the hands line up roughly with Evelyn's TOD. Whoa. Coincidence? That's a hell of a stretch. You really think? If Lee's as dumb as you say, maybe. We'd need lab tech analysis to confirm, but if there ever was a smoking gun... Let's see. It fits. I'll stick around a bit. I'm sure there's still more to it's find. It's like, uh... I can't tell what's the minute hand. And what's the hour hand. Eh. Eh. So I think the ten... So it's like ten, ten... I'm gonna check. What? Ugh. What the thing isn't here anymore. It like went away. That's bullshit, man. Oh well. 
Whatever, dude. Whatever. Master Player 69. <laughs> oh, what a winner. What a winner. Really? Oh, I have to get this one. Shit. Access granted. Yay. Ooh, I got a praxis. Families, investments in limb. Do do do. Do not disgrace us. Malik, looks like Hong Senior was upset with Hong Junior's behavior, and threatened to cut off his inheritance if he didn't stop whoring around. Sounds like he considered Evelyn beneath the family name. And if he knew she was... Ah! I... I can't believe Lee would do something like that just for money. Speaking of money, the Hong family seems heavily invested in both Bell Tower and Lim. That could explain the cover-up and lack of a proper investigation. I'll make one last sweep to make sure I got everything. Doopy doo Malik. I found a baseball bat, but it looks clean. Almost like it's been washed recently. Maybe Lee washed Evelyn's blood off of it. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm not sure it could inflict the type of laceration she had. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> I'm heading to the hive now. <laughs> I doubt we'll find anything else in here without calling in a forensics team. Sounds good. Like, okay, so they put all the real clues in this room. Then they put the one red herring clue in the other room. So you get it on your way out. You've already found the thing that could produce the blunt trauma and the lacerations, and it's just like, hey, there's also a baseball bat, so you can totally fuck up if you talk to the guy, if you, like, literally weren't even paying attention. Because <laughs> you now we get to go question him. We get to go cross-examine him, man. Because we need a confession. Just call me the closer. Because in real life, you can make criminals confess to their crimes in like two minutes. It totally works. Whee! Actual interrogation definitely isn't a very long process of breaking down their mental barriers and <coughs> making suspects say what you want. They actually just take two minutes and really involve sorting through their lies and making them tell the truth. Malik, I'm in the hive. What's your plan? Find Lee and talk to him. I want you to convince him you know exactly what he did to Evelyn and why. If you can make him panic, I'm willing to bet he'll spill his guts. Just make it look like blackmail. If he's willing to pay to keep you quiet, he's basically tying his own noose. I'll listen in and record everything. Got it. Hey, I can pick all these up now. Do do do. <laughs> uh, anyways. Hey. I don't need to fucking do that. I just need to say, look at that. Do you see that, Lee? That could be you. Let's you talk. Want, Chrome boy. Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev... Man, it's all 